Very warm welcome to all of you in Carnival Kalan Center. So to this evening, we are going to demonstrate the last hurdles of this cruise, that is the Oriental Unknown. Okay, Oriental Unknown is uh, basically in the Indonesian cuisine. Okay, unknown means I also don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. We will make a one Indonesian roast chicken and then soup, one rice preparation, vegetables, satay and grilled shrimp. Okay, so I will uh, make all the food together with you all and then we will taste in a small portion. Why I mention a small portion? Because after we finish our demonstration, we will be sitting for your family dinner. Okay, when we are doing the family dinner, we prepare the same food in my kitchen. Okay, so we will serve for your dinner service. So if you fool with your tasting food, you cannot enjoy your family dinner. Right? So when you are doing that uh, tasting, please only small portion. So you understand what is the actual taste of your cooking food. So how we work? Two person in one station. If you are a couple or you want to work together as a family, you need to pick one piece of paper that will assign your table number. Also, one more thing that is important from public health and guidance from CDC: what you make in the house that is only for your tasting. You are not allowed to make any food from here to outside, right? So, before we start, just give a quick introduction uh, from the Carnival Kitchen. My right hand side, and this is Mayur. Hello, everyone. My name is Mayur from India. Welcome to Carnival Kitchen. Thank you. Thanks, Venona. A very good evening to each and everyone. My name is Venona and I am from the Philippines and I hope you'll be having fun tonight and I welcome you all to Carnival Kitchen. Thank you. Next is Om. Hello everyone, good evening. How are you today? Good? Good. My name is Om, I am from India. Welcome to Carnival Kitchen. Alright, so myself Jaydeep. So we all work together with you. Okay? So please, my Right? The name is not like a uh, grilled tenderloin or grilled chicken or like that. Aya in Indonesian language it means chicken. Okay, and betutu is a roast. So aya betutu is a roast chicken. First we need to marinate the chicken. Okay, before we do that, I just uh, make you understand that starting from your chicken setup. That is your utensils, right? After that, we will find two glass bottles with olive oil and cooking white wine. Still, this cooking, uh, we don't need white wine, but we always keep the same standard in every glass, so we keep it. Then, you will find the salt plus chili flakes, followed by the pepper milk and tasting spoon. When you make something, you need to taste your food, so please use the tasting spoon. Next, you will find the empty pan. This pan we call trash in. If you want to discard your soil spoon, please use it. Then there is iPad, always it is posted your next items. This recipe I will share to your email address. Okay, what you need to do, you need to just write it down your correct and clear email address to me. Before you leave from Cardio Kitchen, you need to write your name, your state room number, and your email address. So I will share all the recipes. What we are going to demonstrate this evening to your email address. Okay, let us try tomorrow morning, or I will try by tonight. Okay, so I need to marinate the chicken first. I hope you already seen this chicken piece already, the two pieces of chicken, the small bowl, and then you will find some ramekins with some different ingredients. Maybe these ingredients you are all well aware or. Maybe you have seen the person first time. Uh, this is my responsibility to make you understand what we are going to use for this cooking purpose. Alright? So first, you need to grab your mixing bowl. Then please grab one tasting spoon from this pan. The first three ingredients we need to add to your mixing bowl. That is your red onion, chopped garlic, and chopped lemongrass. Onion, garlic, lemongrass. Lemongrass, onion, garlic. Yeah, or Lemongrass, onion, garlic. Lemongrass. Okay. Beautiful. 
Lemongrass or the bay leaf? No, this one is a chopped lemongrass. This one? This one. Okay. This one? Yes. Lemongrass, onion, and garlic. Okay. Then you will find there is a three spices, actually four spices on the again. That is yellow color, I know we all have heard that is a turmeric powder. Okay, that is yellow spices. Yellow color spices, that is turmeric powder. So, this one, the last one. Oh, that's one. Okay. Yeah. Then you will find, yes, then you will find cinnamon powder. Mm. Right? That is a cinnamon powder. Yes. And then you will find two brown color spices. One is roasted coriander and the second one is roasted cumin powder. Yes. Oh, yes. This strawberry. Yes. Cumin, coriander, cinnamon. Excellent. So all these, right. all of them? This one. Yes, yes. That is the cumin. Next one is the coriander, cinnamon, and turmeric powder. That is the four ingredients. Yes, that is the um, turmeric. The first two was the coriander, cumin, cinnamon. Alright, so we add all of them. Then you find there is a white sugar, right? There is a white sugar. Please add all of them. <laughs> then you will find there is a small piece of ginger and berry, right? Okay. Please add both of them. After that, add some crushed black pepper. Okay, so add the whole ginger, you don't quite it. Oh, yeah. Yes, we add it. Then, if you add some black crushed pepper, please use your pepper meal. Is that? No, I No, I didn't see one. Put it in? Put it in. Every. After that, we need to add chicken. No, we need to add salt. Salt is important. So please add half spoon salt. Don't add too much. Just add half spoon salt. Then you need to mix the all spices and the herbs. After you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you will find the tasting one? Yes, that half spoon. After that, you will find there is a bottle of olive oil. You need to add the oil until you get a nice smooth mixture. Is that olive oil until you get a smooth mixture?
you have to ask them nasi udar. Nasi means rice. Okay, udar is the preparation. So next item we are going to prepare that is nasi udar. You will find there is a raw rice, right? There is a half cup of raw rice along with one cup of water. Always remember when you use that half cup or one cup of raw rice, you need to add double quantity of liquid. Okay, so here we are using half cup, so we are using double quantity of liquid. Then you will find there is a coconut milk, right? This is a white color, there is a coconut milk. Then you will find there is a three ramekins with herbs and spices. The first spice. That is brown in color, that is roasted coriander powder. Okay, that is a roasted coriander powder. Then you will find bay leaf, fresh ginger, lemon grass, right? This is slant cut, the small herbs, that is the lemon grass. And the fourth one is a dry ginger or you can say galangal. Okay, so the fourth herbs that is the bay leaf, ginger, lemongrass and galangal. Then you will find this green color we make like a small knot that is called pandan leaves. Okay, that is also the flavoring agent. That is pandan leaves and coffee lime leaves. Okay, that is a lemon leaf that is green color. All right, so we are now going to make that is nasi udar. So how we prepare? It's very simple. Please open the lid. First. We need to add water. In the pot? Yes, in the pot. Add water first. After you add water, please grab one spatula. You need to add pudding powder. Add all of this. Which one? Pouring. Is coriander powder. That one? Yes. Then, bay leaf, ginger, lemongrass, and galangal. Add all of this. You can drop all of them together. And then, pandan leaves and lemon leaves. After that, all this. Yes, add all of this. After that, we need to add salt. Please add half teaspoon salt. Yes, please. Half teaspoon salt to the water. And then you need to stir well. It's so not on yet, right? It's off. Yes, I don't need to run. Okay. So after you mix well, the next step, we need to turn on your induction because we need to cook the rice, right? This is a cold water, you cannot make rice. So how will you turn on? Below on your induction table, you will find there is a two black diamonds. Please turn on your left hand side dials in number four. Your left hand side number four. Yes. Yes, uh, it will not work like that. Yes, if you remove the pan, your left is my right. Okay, so this should be done now. That's it. Yes, so after a few moments, it will start.
So after that, the next step, what do we need to do? We need to wash the raw rice, okay, with the cold water. You will find there is a water missing. Don't wash your rice with this glass of water now. This is for your drinking. Please don't do that. Just at least you need to wash one time. And then very carefully you need to strain the water. And in the same time, I hope you notice this water already starts slowly boiling, right? So it's the best time to put cover on top and then you need to slow your induction temperature from number 4 to number 2. Put cover completely close and you need to slow your induction temperature from number 4 to number 2, your left side. Please grab your one more spatula. 
This band we are going to cook with the soft pan. Okay? So please switch on your right hand side induction in number three. Then the next step we need to add some oil. Number three? Yes. Your right hand side, number three, and your left hand side for the right is number two. After your pan is really warm, the first ingredient we need to add that is the paste. Onion, garlic, and turmeric paste. And all of this, we need to lightly saute. While you are sauteing, then we need to add lemongrass and garam masala as well, along with your lemon leaf, lemongrass, garam masala, yes, and the lemon leaf. And all of this, then you need to saute again. After you add salt and pepper, then please mix well the seasoning. And once it gets boiled one time, then you need to turn off your soup. Don't over boil, otherwise the flavor of the soup will go out. All right? So just one time boil, and then you need to turn off the soup. This is all the flavor. If you actually boil, that the flavor it will definitely come out. What are you? You need to add chicken stuff. Yes. Oh. I don't know. That's how I learned. We're good now? Yes. And cover? I just cut. That's good. Then the next step, we need to shake the seasoning. If the seasoning is good enough, if salt and pepper is good enough, that's fine. 
Alright? You can feel the aroma, the taste of the chicken stock, right? And then yes, if you want to add some seasoning like salt and pepper, you can add it now. Or if your chicken stock is good enough, then the next thing you will find that the soup stock with half cut egg, shredded chicken, boiled noodles, fried garlic and scallion. Okay, that is the soup condiments. So what you need to do? Just pour carefully. No. As much you want. Now it's time for the next thing. Let's just start. I will check this. Let's see if it's like cold. That's right. Number two. It's okay. Oh, we have this to switch. I have to switch because I'm short. I, I will know. <laughs> to switch and back. No, uh, which people? What is the. Uh, no. You already add salt and pepper. Okay. Have you tasted it? It's good. Alright. Now, you need to add the soup to the soup cup. And this is the soup. Now tell me what happened with this. I didn't turn it on. I turned it on now. No, no, I just turned it on. Oh, okay. It's not boiling. It's like, okay. just when I put it in the chicken stock, it okay. it takes like two minutes. Yes. So now, please, it's time to taste your soup. So have your soup to understand the what is the actual taste. Okay? At the same time, you need to open this pan cover of your rice. Please be careful because it's very, very hot. So please wear your kitchen towel while you are holding. Now you can see this rice get almost dry. We can add now this coconut milk and after we add coconut milk just need to lightly mix and then we need to turn off our induction and cover completely so both inductions off now first you turn off this one yeah. this is not yet ready just okay. a moment Turn off this one. That's left, right? Yes. Your left hand side, turn off. And then from the ball. Yes. Then this one is number two. Yeah. Right hand side. Mm -hmm. Off. You check all the top. It's still watery. Okay. You need to cook a little okay. bit. Okay. You check with salt and pepper. Okay. Yes. It's fine enough. It's good. All right. A little bit. Yes. Chicken, we make chicken stock, so when we make chicken stock, we put that chicken pieces, right? So when chicken cook, we take it out from that perforated spoon and we shred it. We remove the skin and we shred by the hand. This has some kind of noodle. That is a rice noodles. Rice noodles, fried garlic, you will find there is a brown color something. That is a fried garlic. Noodles, that is the rice noodles. 
scallion and chicken along with boiled egg that is half cup that is a soup condiments Switch off already. All right. Okay, is it off? Yes. I mean, is it on your dinner? Turn off yes. already. Then you add coconut milk. Yeah. Add all the coconut milk, please. Yes. Just lightly mix and then put cover on top for further cooking. So I hope we already added this coconut milk to the rice, right? So we can move forward to the next item. Yes, that is uh, satay. Okay. okay. Satay. Uh, satay. You can make with the chicken mix. Also, you can make with pork mix. As for the recipe, we are prepared the satay with pork mix. Right. So you will find. There is a pork mince. When you make satay, we need to use skewers, right? So hold the satay. Particularly this class, we don't use the skewers. Instead of skewers, this is a lemon grass. Okay? The lemon grass we use for your chopped lemon grass or rice, chicken, we use lemon grass. This is your lemon grass. We are using this lemongrass as a skewers. Oh. Okay. Then you will find in our ingredients some ingredients starting from chopped red onion, chopped ginger, chopped garlic, sugar. There is a chopped green chili, chopped lemon leaves, turmeric powder, chopped lemongrass, brown sugar. Coriander powder and coconut milk. Alright, I hope you understand the exact all the ingredients. But still, if you have some confusion or any ingredients you don't get it, please let me know. Alright, so first thing we need to marinate the meat meat with this all spices. Okay, you have this mixing bowl with you. First, we need to add minced meat. But no lemongrass, right? Just lemongrass no. on the side. This whole two lemongrass don't mix it. That is only we are using as a skewer. Just keep it aside. Okay. After we little mash, then the first ingredient we are going to add that is a chopped onion. After we add onion, then chop ginger and chop garlic. Then the next step, chop lemongrass. Chop lemon leaves. Yes, you will find chopped lemon leaves. 
11 grams. And then you will find there is a chopped green chili. The green chili, as per the recipe, we are supposed to add all of this. But if you don't like too much spicy, you can add just how much you want. Some of them. If you don't like too much, you can add only a little bit. Or if you like uh, more spicy, you can add all of this. Then you will find there is a coriander powder. Don't mix with coriander powder and brown sugar. Okay? So there is a brown sugar also, a little brown in color. And coriander powder also, yes. There's a brown in color. Please add coriander powder, all of it. Then turmeric powder. Coconut milk. Half spoon of brown sugar. Then you will find sugar. Just add half spoon sugar. And then we are going to add some crushed black pepper. So what's the brown sugar? The one side? The white and brown. Both of them. That's white. Yes. Not brown? This is brown sugar you already added. Okay. I think. Yes. This is a regular little sugar. Lemon grass you already added? No. Please add it. Chopped ginger. Okay. And now I'm good, right? Yes. Everything. So we After? Huh. all of the sugar, right? Uh, no. First we don't add all of the sugar. First we check the seasoning. Then if you need, you can add all of the sugar. Just like so. Sugar. Sugar. Is that tastes like sugar? Then, <laughs> you need to add some black pepper for the seasoning <laughs> and add quarter teaspoon of salt. <laughs> then you need to mix well. Please, you need to mix very, very well the mixture.
After you can get a little work, we need to shake the sizzling before we make sake. Okay? Just take a small portion of your marinated beans and we will cook the small portion and we will understand if you need some salt and pepper or if you want to add some brown sugar, you can do that. Okay? Just a small portion. Before we make sake, just let me shake the seasoning. So this is what? This is pork? What meat is this? Pork or beef? This is a pork meat. The other, other what meat? If the sizzling is good enough, means you like the sizzling, if you don't want to add anything else, then we will start preparing the sake. After that, 
you need to just yes, embrace this skewers you are using as a wind grass. Try to make a little thin layer of meat because in the non stick pan it is difficult to thin. So you need to cook here. Okay. So little thin layer of meat. Thin layer. And then we are going to keep it on your non stick pan. Put the thing yeah, around yeah. here. Yes. There is black. Yeah, exactly. But I promise when you serve for your dinner service, it will be a real sake. Alright? But here it is very challenging and difficult to make a thick layer meat to get it cooked. Richard, just make little thin so it will cook properly. Oh, flat, yes, flat. little flat it. Okay, and pull that up. Yes, because this is a very thin pan. Yeah. If your meat is too thick, it is then difficult cook. to cook. It's okay. It's okay. Actually, when we cook sake in our kitchen, we just seal the sake, we don't cook inside our pan because it's challenging. So we seal both the colors, nice golden color, both the sides, and then keep inside the oven. So it gets nicely cooked.
Oh, it's Side dish. Yeah. Side dish. I almost have it.
okay, to take the chicken. Make sure you take all the nice marination of the chicken. Okay. Just need to open this rice pack cover. Mix well. After you mix well, you will find there is a big spoon inside you will just catch. Then take as much rice you want for your tasting. In Indonesia or in Malaysia, Singapore, like this, in Southeast Asia part, if you visit there, they don't uh, eat with gravy and the chicken. So there is a little dry item, like a rice and the roast chicken. Along with this, they add some spicy chutney. Yes, that is a spicy chicken. It's known as sambal. Sambal. Yes, that is a sambal. There is a spicy and a uh, very, very spicy chutney. When we serve for your dinner service, we will serve a small bowl of sambal. So please taste that sambal, it is really spicy. Don't take too much. For your tasting, you can have it. So now it's time to uh, have this I am ready to along with the last order. Thank you. Is that... <clears throat> 
on the on the chicken, use a convection oven. Yes, this is a convection oven. This is a preheated oven, 350 for 18 to 20 minutes. But traditionally, when they cook in the Indonesia, they cook in a slow charcoal oven. So that the bamboo, uh, not bamboo, this banana leaves, they covered fully and put on that oven and slow cook. So the flavors and everything go intact to the chicken. But if you were getting on the street, it would be this would be the skewer, correct? In Indonesia or? Uh, in the Indonesian wood? street, they use the skewers. Okay, wood. Here, yes. Okay. Here we are, uh, as you know, the cardinal already on provision five years. Right. They just come out from 2022, I think. Okay. So they uh, promised to Department of Justice that they reduce all this garbage and yes, waste yes, production, all this okay. thing in the separate completely. So nowadays they don't give that to pick that you need to pay. Right. Also, you don't find the straw also. So you use it just that. Yes. Also, you don't find that uh, shaker yeah. before in the tea right. counter or yeah. coffee counter. Yeah. You yeah. find those bamboo shakers. Those now no stir. Now no more scales also. So that's the reason we take it out this okay. thing. Instead of this, we are using this. Okay. So I hope uh, we like this. So we can uh, move for the next one that is very quick and easy. That is one vegetable item that is known as Sayur Pachal. Sayur means vegetables. Any green vegetables is known as Sayur. Pachal is a combination or preparation item. So here is a green vegetable is green beans. Below on your table, you will find there is a tray like this. On that tray, you will find green beans, lemon leaves, chopped red onion, chopped ginger, sorry, chopped garlic, chopped green chili. Brown sugar. This is a white color, look like a whistling, but it is not whistling. It is uh, coconut oil. Okay? That is the uh, ordinary coconut oil. And so this paste. Right? You will find this is a brown color. That is the anchovy paste. And the last item is your fried and roasted peanuts. Okay, in a steel bowl, brown color, little brown in color, so that is a peanuts. Then, when you make this side of pachal, we have to add this anchovy, that is a, as per the recipe. But, some of the guests, they don't like anchovy, okay, so it's, you have to choice if you want to add it, that's it's okay. fine. Anchovy? Yes, that is anchovy. If you don't want to add, it's fine enough. You can skip that part. Miss you not to have this actually. Choice is yours. I am not going to force you all. The first thing we need to turn on again your lower induction in number three. Left, right? Yes, your left side, number three. We are not going to add any vegetable oil or any olive oil. Instead of that, we are going to add coconut oil after you add coconut oil I hope you see already is better the first ingredient is you need to add that is the shop red onion. Then we need to add shop garlic. Uh, 
chopped red onion, then chopped garlic. Chili onion? Yes, that is the green chili. You can add according to your choice. Oh. Then saute nicely, onion, garlic, lemon leaf, and chopped green chili. After you saute, little light golden in color. Then we are going to add anchovy paste. We cook with anchovy paste. You don't need to do that. No, no, no. After that, we are going to add green tea. Then we need to saute nicely with the green beans, with all the spices and herbs. Then we are going to add some crushed black pepper. This is the herbs, right, right here? Yeah. Later. Later, okay. Yeah. Press black pepper. Add pinch of brown sugar. Pinch of salt. Yes, pinch of brown sugar. Pinch of salt. And finally, you need to add some peanut. Wait. Oh, the peanuts are the. Yes, don't add all of this. Just add some. And then you need to mix nicely. Yes. This is a mixture of peanut and fried cashew nuts. Okay? So after you add some nuts on top, then you need to turn on the reduction. You will find there is a skirt there. You can add, you can take as much as you want. And then you need to add some more nuts on top and grind it. So this is your Sayur Pachal. This Sayur Pachal, we are using green beans. You can use any of kind of vegetables. Okay? Not required to make the same green beans also. Yeah. Now time for the testing. Please taste your food. Thank <laughs> you. 
your shrimp is already cut as a butterfly. So please, you need to arrange the shrimp as a butterfly. So the meat part should be cooked first. Okay? And the skin part or the shell part will be cooked later. Don't discuss this marination because we need to apply this marination on top later on, not now. If you add now, it will start burning. Just add shrimp to grill it. Is a shrimp. Right. Udang is a shrimp. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You've been there in Indonesia? No, I've been to uh, Thailand, Japan, and Hong Kong. Means you visit or some work for us? Work. Alright, excellent. So you are quite familiar with this kind of South Asian food? I love it. I also love it because uh, they use the all fresh herbs uh, like lemongrass, lemon leaves, yeah. so they have fresh. The only thing I can't find at home is the lemon leaves. Lemon leaves? To the point that like, I look to see if I can find one so I can grow it just so I can have the leaves. So you explore their street foods over there? Yeah. Is that on Amazon? What's that? Does it look on Amazon? They have them dry, but they're supposed to be a fresh leaf. 
So, thank you. The is crazy because it's more different. Yes. The flavor is not a common actual. Yes. Yeah, like, like mixture of like lemon zest, or in my zest, is like the closest that I can come to that.
The second one is uh, our uh, one and only warrior is uh, Gary Adam and Mr. Ninga. He is responsible uh, to clean and sanitization every station, tabletop, and the floor as well as uh, plates and cutleries and glasses. Okay. And also, just adding one more thing today is Ninga's birthday.